what is the Astor? The Astor is a place where you can step back in time and watch old movies the way they were meant to be watched, the way they were originally It's an amazing watched. cinema that plays amazing movies and it's the reason really we experience Melbourne and the Victoria's culture in one of the last double feature cinemas. It's quite rich with history, um, great architecture. Um, it's me time to stand still for an hour or two and the world is just at peace. very much to us at the time of the sale that the new landlord would work with us and friends of the Astor Association towards a not-for-profit trust for the future of the building which is what we have always wanted but as soon as that sale of contract went through the trust was taken off the table and suddenly we were presented with a very commercial lease and there was never any discussion about what the future of the Astor would look like and we repeatedly requested opportunity to sit down face to face and discuss the future of the Astor and we've never been given that opportunity with our lawyers. So as some of you may already know, the Astor as we know it is due to close at the start of next year. <laughs> Unless we can convince the powers that be that we love the Astor the way it is and that Melbourne needs the Astor. have got phones that have the interweb on them. Get them out right now and add us on Facebook. It's the Pelvic Trust. And we will be putting up a petition after the show that we want everyone to sign saying that we love the Astor and we want it to stay the way it is. Yeah. Have I turned the phones off during the movie? Yes, and then turn them off. If you see a painting and you take a picture of it, you don't throw the canvas away just because you have a picture now. You know, I mean, you might have a digital copy and that's fine, but that doesn't mean you should get rid of the film print. Things too, like the film print has its own history. Every speck of dust, every like tiny running thread that you can see on it, the little cigarette burn that tells the projectionist when to change the reel. Those are all things that are part of the film's history. What will happen to the 70 millimeter prints that we book if we don't show them? Nowhere else can show 70 mil. Nowhere else shows that. So we're the only cinema in Australia that is regularly screening 70mm film prints. There is a definite fear that a lot of those prints will be lost if we don't continue to show them. That's from a Charlie Chaplin movie, that's Mildred Pierce. See how proud people used to be of their craft? They'd make little animations on the, this is just on the leader of the film, you know, sound, print, part two, Mildred Pierce, little <laughs> diagrams. And, hills and clouds and stuff, you know, they, people were proud of their craft and no one would ever see that but the projectionist. But they still went to trouble to create that image and print it on the print. In the future, if the Asta can't be in this building, does the Asta still exist? Not really, in my opinion definitely not. Um, we have talked about this but it would be extremely difficult to take what the Astor is and put it somewhere else. Um, the Astor is not the building or the business, it is the two things married together. It's like a body and a soul, you can't really extricate one from the other. To remove the Astor from here is like taking the soul away. To put the soul into another shell is a heartbreaking idea and difficult to even contemplate but I also don't really think it would work.